Hi guys, this is Peter of GizGuy.com and today I have the Huawei Nova 7 SE 5G This is currently the most affordable uh, 5G ready smartphone in the country and we are here at the BGC Ampli Theater to do a speed test So let's begin This is powered by Globe uh, I'm using Globe's network right now and here the speed is around 500 Mbps uh, this is actually pretty fast especially for a mid-range smartphone we tested it earlier on the Huawei P40 Pro and the Huawei P40 Pro got around 700 Mbps of speed maybe because it is using a higher type of uh, antennas and it is a higher end type of device but for a mid-range smartphone this result is definitely not bad So earlier, we saw the 5G speed test of the Huawei Nova 7 SE 5G, a mid-range 5G smartphone. And now we will be comparing it against the 4G signal that we used to have, okay? So one, two, three, let's begin. And the purpose of this speed test is to show you the difference between 4G and 5G technology. As you can see here, 5G speed is way way faster at around 468 Mbps of download speed with a low ping of 10 milliseconds then the upload speed is also faster at 42 Mbps 43 Mbps versus the uh, 33.7 of the current 4G network and this shows that 5G is definitely uh, way faster in terms of download speed compared to the current 4G technology that we have here in the country. Now we will be trying the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. This is the very first 5G ready smartphone in the country with the Kirin 990 5G processor. And that type of processor comes with the Balong 5000 modem. It is a multi-mode modem of 5G that works with 4G, 2G, 3G uh, modes as well. As you can see here, we got a download speed of 599 uh, MB per second and an upload speed of around 41.4 uh, Mbps again that's not bad it's the future this is a glimpse of the future and I'm sure in the coming months uh, Globe will try to implement this in more areas in the country so let's all watch out for that Now let's try the download uh, speed of 5G. I'm downloading the TikTok app that is 73 MB big. And let's download now. Let's see how fast. Look at that speed. Incredible speed. That's just less than 3 seconds, guys. It was able to download the 73 MB app in less than 3 seconds. So let's try to download the 
uh, GCash app. GCash app, as you can see here, it is a 43 MB app. And let's press download now. Okay. Again, around 2 seconds. Was able to download the GCash app in 2 seconds. Let's look for more apps. Let's try a uh, heavier game like this. Uh, Lords Mobile with 565.6 MB. Okay. Let's see how fast it can go. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Less than... Uh, less than... Yeah, around 15 seconds. Uh, I, mean, I think it's even less than 15 seconds. We're able to download a 500 MB file in less than... Uh, 15 seconds right that's the power of 5g it's incredible it's super fast and this is the future uh, currently it is only available at globe's postpaid network so you have to have a postpaid sim of globe but soon uh, it will be available on prepaid as well so let's expect that and again this is incredible this is exciting and Let's hope that the telcos will be able to implement this technology to more locations nationwide.